All right, let me get out the timer. Oh, great. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. For some reason, it stopped responding for a second. Okay. Welcome to 8-Bit Hero Games. Now, Trevor is taking a go at the next level of Doom for the N64. How you feeling, Trevor? How you, how you holding up? Well, I have some slight heart burn, so that's kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it from that burger? No, I've kind of just had it all day, and I just haven't really taken anything for it. Alright, and as Trevor so generously promised, he's going to enchant us with his story that he's wanted to tell. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so I was in the bathroom, like, just taking a pee, uh -huh. and I set my iPod down on the roll of toilet paper uh -huh. on the counter, and so I zipped my pants up, and I went to grab the uh -huh. iPod, but I accidentally knocked the toilet paper off the counter, which the iPod was on top of, and it was in the air, and I pressed it against the toilet paper and caught it just barely, and I was so scared. Uh -huh. You almost lost something very dear to us. Oh, we got the angry ball man. Yeah, we got the guy from Double Dragon, and he gave <laughs> us 200 balls. Oh my god, this game is really laggy. You know what? Fuck it, let's restart. What? Because it was being unresponsive at first. It... Did it just say you ass? What? The game just said don't quit, or something about that, and then it said ass, and then dot dot dot. Well... <laughs> Okay, we are back again. Yeah, sorry for that whole other thing. The game was being really unresponsive for no particular reason. And the demons own our sorry ass. Yes, I guess so. Alright, this is the real start of Trevor playing level... Four, yes. Yeah, level four. Alright. Let's grab the old double dragon bad guy here. Now we have some health. We'll put a picture of him right here. There he is, double dragon guy. Yes, there you go. I hope you're happy with it. I'm not. Well, that's too fucking bad. I'm sorry. Alright, this level is actually annoyingly dark. Yeah, well, Doom 64 is supposed to be played annoying. Uh, Although, now that I think about it, our first three levels are actually pretty bright. I don't know what's up with this level. Yeah. Either way, it's still Doom, it's still fun. Oh gosh. I see we have a bear and a bell up here, which they're not that intimidating if you've been playing Doom for as long as I have. But if you've been playing Doom for as long as I have, well... That's a different story. I'm, I'm peed myself. Really, the only thing that's actually intimidating in these games, believe it or not, is those and chain gun guys, which don't exist in this. Yeah, they do. Not in Doom 64, they don't. I thought there's a secret level where they're all... Oh, wait, no, those are rocket guys, aren't they? Like, big fat guys that shoot rockets? Mancubus, that's what they're called, and... Wait, what's that thing back there? That was a chain gun, which I don't feel like grabbing at the moment, so I will ignore it as if it is nothing. Yes. <laughs> Alright, now we're back to a bright part where I can actually see things and make jokes. And like honestly, I'm already almost done with the level. There's like 50 seconds left of the level. Well, it's been two minutes. You want to see if you can make it through level five? Oh god, no, there's no way I'm going to make it. I don't even know how you're going to do that. <laughs> Here, go ahead. You're on a roll. Go for it. I dare you. Do you just want to, like, have me play for the 10 minutes and then you play for the remainder? Sure. Alright, let me save just in case. Just in case we decide to edit this out. Yep. There's the good old pee, pee save. Don't tell him the name of the save. You're right, it ruins the illusion. Kind of. Alright, we'll get all these shiny blues. Kill right. all those demon reds. I think this room is useless, but I'm not sure. Can you even get any of that stuff? Yeah, but you have to like teleport on top of one of the things and carefully run around on stuff. This room is also no use to us at the moment. Is it this one? No, that one won't open. It seemed that all you did was go over there and open the door. Because it didn't open at all. <laughs> there we go. This does something. I'm sure of it. It was a switch. It has to have done something. Yes. Hurrah! 
Oh, <laughs> I like how that one just blows away the other one like that. <laughs> it's like, alright guys, we're gonna blow up all on three. One, two, wait, you guys! <laughs> I guess I'll blow up two, but I'm not happy about it. I can't forget all those glow blues. Wait, is, it, is this a level where if you blow up all the barrels, something interesting happens? No, that that's only in the first level. If you get all the barrels, then a door opens for about three seconds, and then you can go into a secret level, which is insanely hard. Well, I'm glad I didn't figure out how to do that. Me too, because it's real, you gain really nothing from doing that level. You do gain something, Trevor. Really? Gain the love and respect of the people around you. That doesn't matter, you George. Well, I can... Well, you're right. <laughs> Doom's about killing things and making sure Satan is dead and doesn't mess with the real world. Yeah. Doom's about getting the glowy blues, the... The freaking demon reds. Killing those and... Just having a, a grand old time. Pretty much. Okay. Wow. There's a lot of doors that I don't think are doors. <laughs> or I wouldn't expect to be doors. Like, I'd probably walk in this room and be like, well, I guess there's nothing in here. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't even have a chance. It's because I have a berserker and I can't believe I just charged that thing. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> You know, I may actually complete this level within the time limit. Really? Possibly. Ah, uh, we're at five minutes. You yeah, can do it. I'm not totally sure about it. Trevor. Trevor. No, that doesn't help me. Does it just scare you? Does it stress you out? No, it just, it's like, why are you doing that? It's annoying. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Speaking of, like, cheerleading you from the background, like, you've seen Aladdin, right? Like, who hasn't seen yeah, the Disney Aladdin? Of course. Do you remember that scene of the movie where, um... Oh my gosh, where, like, um... Genie's cheering on, like, Aladdin. He's like, he's like, Rick and Rockin', like, something, something, like, stick that sword into that snake. And then Jafar's like... <laughs> he's like, Jafar, Jafar, he's our man. If you can't do it, <laughs> great! <laughs> gosh. I love that guy. Robin, Robin Williams. Williams. He's so cool. Yeah, actually, I, today I just told Trevor that um, Robin Williams named his daughter Zelda after the princess <laughs> Zelda. Yeah, I thought that was pretty amazing to do, honestly. Like, I am jealous. Robin Williams plus Zelda equals a really, really cool commercial. Oh my god, yeah, that was that was that was really impressive. I'll put a link to it in the description. Such a nice commercial. It's so magic. I feel like it would be the coolest dad to just I tell know, me stories. Serious. Yeah. How much time do we have left? Well, we're at six minutes. We got four. Uh fuck, I don't know, man. I th uh yeah, I think I might be able to. But I can't help but Nope, no, we're good. Okay. I got lost for a second. Well, no, stop for a second, stop for a second. That guy's twitching. <laughs> yeah, that's it's just some gore. I don't really know exactly what body part that is. Alright. Well, now that we got the cherry key, we can open the cherry door. Yeah, I can hold these things as well. Nice. Now we gotta get the blueberry key. Oh, dude. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I had so many, like, horrible memories of that as a kid, trying to, like, not get hit with that. I mean, now it's a piece of cake because I'm older and I have logic. And you got a cheesy mustache sometimes. I don't, I don't have facial hair, and I hate having facial hair. Don't even joke about it. Seems to be a little sensitive about his facial hair. I hate facial hair on me. It's gross. It seems that we've st struck a nerve with him. George, get out of here. Get out, get out of my house. Alright, bye. I'm leaving. Okay, bye. I don't even care. That's my bed, not the bed. Well, now that that's all sorted out. You know, I don't even feel like you guys are going to change. Trevor. Trevor. 
was not particularly difficult. Now let's go back. You got two minutes. Can you do it? Yeah, and then I'll just try to run it. Alright, so it appears that as a team, together, I single-handedly beat this level. Oh, god damn it. Why is that not lowered? Wait. No, there... I guess I might not beat this within the time. Oh, is there a problem? Yeah, I didn't activate a switch that needs to be activated, which isn't here. It's supposed to be in here, but there's nothing here. Wait. Oh, wait, there it is. Okay, it was just hiding from me like a douche. Alright, well, now that we're done with douche switches, um, Trevor punching giant demons with green boxing gloves and killing uh, all the gaming drugs. They're oven mitts. Well, we beat it! Yeah, good job! <laughs> Man, I hate that level, though. Honestly, that is my least favorite level of this whole game. Well, it seems that we've reached our limit. Next time on 8-Bit Hero Games, we'll take on the next level of Doom for the N64. Which is insanely hard, by the way. I, g I guess you find this boring. <laughs>